What's up YouTube, I'm Mike, and finally I'm back making bodybuilding content again. I have been gone, uh, I can't remember, I think the last video that I put out um, down the bodybuilding vein has been about three months ago. And uh, what that has basically allowed me to do is to produce a video that I've been personally curious about for the vast majority of my lifetime, and that is how long can you keep your bodybuilding gains when you stop bodybuilding? Um, as embarrassing as it is to admit, over the course of the past three months, I think I have been to the gym maybe three times. In the course of the past two months, I have not been to the gym at all. So there was a period of time when my wife and I started trying to do the RV traveling thing. If you're not familiar with the, all of the nightmares that have been going on with that, please watch the last video I put up. That'll kind of bring you up to date on all of the shit that we have been going through. Um, so when we started down this uh, traveling plan that we have, uh, I dialed back my workouts quite a bit because we just didn't have time to get to the gym. So I went from doing a five day to six, six day a week bodybuilding uh, split to basically working out three times a week during doing sort of circuit training. So the first question that I had was could I maintain my physique doing circuit training alone? And I was, in fact, able to really notice no difference in my body composition for that first month period where I set out to work out about three times a week and wasn't even accomplishing that. Then for the last two months straight, I have not been lifting at all. I mean, I think one time I like screwed around with like the little cables that we have, but no, nothing even remotely approaching the, the, the bodybuilding regimens that you guys are familiar with that I've been doing for going on four, four years now. So what I wanted to find out was how quickly would I lose all of the gains that I had made over the course of three years of training hard and cycling on a daily basis. Uh, and what I have found is that more or less you don't lose your gains, at least not in that period of time. Uh, I was able to hold all of my shape for so long that it literally had me doubting. You know, people are always on the line, like people who don't lift will often tell guys who lift that basically the only reason they're big is because they're on steroids. I was able to maintain my physique for so long with little to no lifting that I began to believe that maybe, they were, that maybe that's true. Like I, I cannot imagine, I don't know, I have been shocked. So. I'm going to put up a picture. Uh, this is what I was looking like uh, at the end of the first month where I had been to the gym like three times total. I was going for like one hour and just doing circuit training. And so in this picture, uh, I was on nothing but TRT. So for a solid month, actually a little bit more than a month, I got off cycle. I, st I, I continued you know, my bodybuilding regimen. And then uh, I cut, I got completely off, and for a little over a month, uh, I was on nothing but my TRT protocol, which is when I thought for certain um, that my, my physique would start to tank. I felt confident that on TRT, which is 200 milligrams of test C per week, that was it. Test C, Arimidex, nothing else uh, that is performance enhancing. And I was, on, I was doing that for six, maybe eight weeks. Um, and saw little to no change in my physique at all. Now, during that period of time, I was not eating excessively, so I was able to, to maintain my midsection pretty well, as you can see in those pictures. There's still a lot of hardness and vascularity, and because I was continuing to at least lift weekly, I maintained a lot of the, uh, the pump and uh, the glycogen and all that in my muscles, so I still look hard and vascular and uh, relatively decent. Uh, certainly, you know, I have lost a lot of the, the fullness in those pictures that you would expect when being on a full-blown steroid cycle. But for training anywhere between once to three times a week, more often just once, uh, for the first six weeks, I noticed very little change, which that in and of itself did not surprise me a lot. I mean, I, the body tries to basically stay in the condition that it's in. It doesn't like a lot of change. And so just stopping lifting 
and um, and lowering all my hormones, I, I, I expected that I would lose the glycogen and the pump, but that more or less things would stay the same. So then um, for the past two months, give or take, uh, that we've been traveling, I added 200 milligrams of Primo back to the mix. So for, and I actually started 100. So I started like 100 milligrams of Primo, 200 milligrams of Test C, just to have something else going on. Try, because what I was really concerned about was trying to maintain my conditioning. The first thing that I noticed every time that I stopped training, uh, stopped my dedicated training and my dedicated diet is that my midsection just starts softening up. You know, I don't get fat, but it's just soft and it doesn't look, it doesn't look the, it, does, it doesn't have the aesthetic that I want to maintain. So I thought maybe if I included a little Primo in a calorie deprived state, without training, maybe that would help me maintain some of the look that I wanted. And so I, I was on about a month of uh, 100 mil, and I know that's an extremely low dose of Primo. I don't need 50 guys in the comment section telling me that I don't know how to run Primo. I know it's low Primo. Basically, I was just cruising on my TRT and adding a little bit of Primo for effect. Um, so I ran 100 milligrams of Primo for about four weeks, then I jumped it up to 200 milligrams of Primo, which is where I've been for the past five, maybe six weeks. So as hard as this is gonna be for me to do, I'm gonna show you exactly what my body looks like with no pump. I have not, I have not lifted a weight in two months time. Just going through the motions in the, in, you know, of traveling, not even a lot of lifting there. We've been staying primarily in state parks, so we've been doing some hiking, some fishing. Basically, the, the heaviest thing that I have lifted is my fly rod with some with I had like a two-pound bass on. Like <laughs> that's it. That's all, that's all you get. So this is what my frame looks like, my body looks like three months outside of the gym in any kind of appreciable bodybuilding type of regimen. So as you can see. My abs are actually still here. They look better in this camera than they look um, than they look uh, in the mirror, and everything is relatively in place. I've lost a lot of the pump. You can see my shoulders are not nearly as full and round as they usually are. Everything is toned down a little bit, uh, but primarily the difference that I see in my my physique. Maybe somebody else will comment something different. Is it's just the glycogen, the pump, the fullness, the hardness. Uh, when I left to go out, to, when I left to start vacation, it's not really vacation. When we left to start traveling, I weighed 193 pounds. About halfway to the trip, I had actually gained some weight. I was starting to get a little, little soft in the midsection because primarily we were just sitting around camp, eating a lot of food, um, and so I, I think I was up to about 195 was the heaviest that I got. When we got home at the end of our trip. I was down to 188 in, in, in the morning and back up to about 191, 192 in the evening. So despite the fact that there's some, some change in composition, my body mass has stayed the same. Uh, I've lost about a quarter of an inch on my biceps, not a lot. Um, and um, I'll show you my back. I haven't even seen my back, so I have no, no idea what that looks like. Um, basically, over a three month period of next to zero training with a relatively small amount of hormones at play, I have been able to maintain the overwhelming majority of my physique. I have maintained it to the point that I feel abundantly confident, and this will be tested, and then I'll check back, that if I start back to training in any kind of reasonable form right now, I will be back to where I left off completely. The full blown aesthetic, Everything will look identical. I, I would say in two weeks time, maximum, maybe less, I will be back to where I left off a little over three months ago. So this has been really exciting news for me because I was one of those guys that during my training, you know, when I was training hard, when I was trying to build as much mass as I could put on my frame, I never missed a workout. Like I, and if I did, I felt terrible. I didn't miss meals, I didn't miss workouts. I didn't miss my hormone shots. Like everything was regimented in a way that because I was concerned that 
I mean, you know, I had that, that shit going on in my head where it was like, you know, you can't afford to party. You can't afford to take a weekend off. You know, we'd go on vacation for two weeks and I would be sick. Like, I just would never feel good about the fact that I felt like I was going to just tank my physique in this short period of time. And what I have found from this experiment is that is just not true. The body really does want to maintain wherever it is. It doesn't seem to want to go up or down, at least my body. Now, I know this is something that you know a lot of people report to be different, but keep in mind, I'm always naturally lean. So a lot of guys will say the second they get off the diet, the second they get off their training, they just start putting on a lot of fat. Uh, that may be true for people who are more naturally on the heavy side. Typically what happens for me, and what I was very afraid was going to happen this time, was that the second that I got off the hormones, and the second that I got off the training, that I was going to start getting skinny again, that I would lose all of my mass and shape, and that has not happened. So uh, in the beginning, when I, during that first month or two, I was, I was at least trying to maintain my protein intake because I felt confident that 200 milligrams of test was more than enough to maintain my physique as long as I kept supplying my body with all of the protein that it needed so that I could stay in a relatively anabolic or at least not go into a catabolic state. Over the course of the last month, with all of the headaches that my wife and family and I have been experiencing with our Alliance Valor uh, travel trailer, uh, I really just sort of quit on life psychologically. Like, it, it, I was just, we were just camping, hanging out. I, I mean, sometimes I would eat two meals a day, not even three. I was definitely not hitting my protein macros. I was definitely not hitting my calories. Uh, way too many, too many trash calories and not enough protein. And that's when I really started to notice the, the bulk of the change. So I think if I was to continue to do this, you know, if I, if I, stu if I kept, you know, not training and not eating right, my, my physique would definitely deteriorate over time. There's no doubt about it. I think, however, that with a reasonable amount of lifting, I mean, maybe once a week and maintaining my protein and my hormones, I think it would be very possible for me to maintain what you're seeing today. So, there you have it. I want to keep this video short. I don't have a lot to report on right now in this video. Uh, again, just to clarify, for the first half, we'll call, it, we'll call it half. For the first half of the three or so month period, I was on TRT alone. I came off all the hormones, let my system completely get back to normal. And one of the other things I guess is worth mentioning, I can't remember if I said in one of my previous videos when we had gotten back from camping up in Colorado, my wife and I had done a bunch of hiking in Colorado and she was kicking my ass on those hiking trails. Like I could not, I thought it was elevation. I didn't know what was going on. I could not keep up with her. I mean, we're, we're hiking up some little one mile trails and I'm getting passed by like pregnant women and guys carrying their kids on their back. Like I had no endurance at all. My, my, my resting pulse was around 100 and within 20 steps up the trail, it'd be 120 and an eighth of the mile, I would be at 140 beats a minute, feeling like I was gonna die. Uh, I was on a, I was on 1200 milligrams of gear at that time, and it is very clear to me now that the gear was causing the problem because we did some very steep hikes. Believe it or not, we found some steep, some steep hikes in Texas, and um, my, my resting pulse was never even, well, my resting pulse was down around 75 to 80, and then at the end of a quarter mile, very steep hike. I might be breaking 100, 115. Uh, never saw anything near those numbers that I was experiencing in um, in Colorado. So, obviously not the elevation, but I think it's pretty clear that that having a resting pulse at 100 uh, when you're just sitting in a car is probably suboptimal for health and cardio endurance. Uh, and then it's worth mentioning that I was on a lot of trend at that time. So. Um, that being all said, uh, the hiking and everything, I feel very good where I'm at the, with, the, with the 200 milligrams of Primo, 200 milligrams of Test C. I'm having no side effects. I'm having no trouble sleeping at night. I'm having uh, no, my, my resting pulse is good. My blood pressure is good. All of my, my biomarkers are coming back into line and uh, I'm feeling really good about where I'm at given the lack of dedication that I've had in the gym. Now, don't everybody please go um, mass unsubscribe. There will be plenty of bodybuilding co content coming back, coming up soon. One of the videos that I'm, I'm trying to put the pieces together for to make is uh, about Primo and estrogen. I have yet to see any evidence 
that uh, Prima Bolin uh, reduces your estrogen levels. I am very, very sensitive to estrogen, as any of you who've been watching my channel for any length of time know. And any tiny fluctuation, and I have side effects on one side or the other. I have been on 200 milligrams of Primo, Primo of some kind, 100 for, for two months now, and my estrogen is not moving. So uh, I think that that is a myth. I'm going to try to put some more data together before I make that, that statement uh, conclusively. And I think that the, the bodybuilding community seems to be split on this. Um, I believe I watched a video by Anabolic Doc where he was saying he has never seen any evidence that Prima Bolin was actually an anti-estrogen. Um, so I think I'm going to try to put together some content about that. Um, I had another thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, but now it's slipping my mind. So like I said, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, this is what I look like after uh, three months of not working out, not lifting, not hitting the gym hard. Uh, so for you guys out there who are training hard every single day, definitely you want to stay on your protocol as best as possible. But if you take a little time off to go on vacation with your family or to go out drinking with your buddies or do something a little fun, live a little life, clearly the ideas that I had in my head about what was necessary to maintain your gains are just not found in reality and that's true whether you're on hormone replacement therapy or light cruises and cycles and speaking of hormone replacement therapy uh final thing i'm going to say thank you thank you thank you to everyone who has signed up using my code in the description if you need hormone replacement therapy please check out the guys at royal medical center use code mikefit at sign up uh, that helps me that helps this channel a lot of you guys have been using that code and i really appreciate that so uh let me find my remote uh, hopefully this has been entertaining and informative. Uh, thank you again to all of you who've been in the comments and messaging me privately, uh, spurring me to come back to making videos. Uh, I promise you there's going to be more content coming. Uh, hopefully everything with our travel trailer is getting worked out right now, and then there will be a lot more to follow after that. So, as always, we'll see you on the next one.